hey guys welcome you all in a new video and this video is totally dedicated for those customers who's using samsung android smartphone and if their samsung android smartphone is locked due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock then uh, after the hard reset of their smartphone i mean to say if you have completed the hard reset and factory data reset of your smartphone and when you will switch on your phone you will get a such type of display you will get a po uh, welcome pop-up uh, and a start button so let's check what happened after the heart reset or uh, when you will switch on your phone and uh, go through all the process what happened here okay so my friend if you complete the hard reset and switch on your phone you uh, it will here ask you your uh, pin pattern or password lock so if you have your pin pattern and password lock then uh, uh, I don't think uh, your phone will be locked here. So I think your uh, pin pattern and password uh, uh, has been forgotten. So you will get an another option that is showing here use my Google account uh, instead simply you will have to click on this. And when you will click on this uh, Google account instead you can see here it's asking your Gmail ID and password here. Okay. So if you have your Gmail ID and password then uh, you can easily go through this space and uh, bypass this space with your Gmail ID and password here. But if you don't have your Gmail ID and password then it's very difficult to bypass this space. So here I am going to give you some tips and tricks by which you can get a skip option on this page here. Okay. So for this simply you will have to reach to the starting page here. Now here you can see here this is the starting page. Now here uh, you will get an option of uh, to change the language option simply you will have to click on this language option and you will have to select the english uk here and go to the ok now here you will get in another option that is showing your emergency call simply you will have to click on this emergency call option and when you will call uh, click on this emergency call option your phone's dialing pad will be open like this here now here you will have to feed a special ussd code that the ussd code is a star has zero star has and when you will click on this uh, ussd code your phones will uh, get a such type of display now here you will get a lots of options but you will have to go to the option that is showing your uh, phone's version number simply you will have to click on this version okay when you will click on this version option uh, you will get a such type of display here you will get uh, your phone's version number okay so here you will have to wait for five seconds and after that simply you will have to go to the back option now here you will get another option that is showing your sensor simply you will have to click on this sensor option uh, when you will click on this sensor option uh, your phone will getting synchronized like this you can see here the, uh, there are some synchronizing option is showing on my phone display here you will have to wait for five seconds again and after that you will have to go to the back option here and you will have to reach to the start page okay now after that you will have to go to the start option here now after that you will have to check all these options and agree to all and go to the agree option here now when you will go to the agree option again it will ask you to go to the more option and ag agree here now here you will get a uh, uh, option that is showing here uh, your phones should be connected to the wi-fi network it's mandatory in this process your phones should be completely online i mean to say your phone should be connected to the wi-fi network so make sure or uh, connect your phone to the Wi-Fi network then after you will have to switch on your phone's uh, talkback option and for this simply you will have to press the power button and the volume up button at the same time for the 5 second and release the same time 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 release here now your talkback option has been switched on you can see here you will have to click here on this use option now again you will have to do the same here press and release now here you will have to draw a opposite L here okay now uh, after that you will get a uh, three options simply you will have to click on this while using the app now here you will have to uh, click on this use voice command on double tap here open google assistant open settings now your phone so settings option will be open on your phone display when you setting option open on your display you will have to switch off your uh, phone's talkback option and for this again you will have to press the power button and the volume up button at the same time here press and release now after that now after that you will have to make some changes on setting page okay firstly you will have to go to the lock screen option okay now when you will go to the lock screen option you will get uh, two option at the bottom of the scroll you will get a face recognition and the fingerprint simply you will have to click on this face recognition option and you will have to click on this continue option but you will have to after that you will have to continue 
for five times two three four and five after that simply you will have to go to the back option here again you will have to go to the back option now here you will get an option that is uh, showing here about your software update simply you will have to click on this software update option download and install option no no this one not you will have to go to the option that is showing here mm, yeah that is just a minute my friends you will have to go to the option that is showing here mm, I forgot let me confirm me no this is not yeah after that you will have to go to the option that is showing here biometric and security here you will get another another option that is showing your fingerprint simply you will have to click on this now you will get a pop-up of continue simply you will have to click on this continue option five times three four and five now all the thing has been done go to the back option back option here now after that you will have to go to the accounts and backup option and you will have to go to the restore data backup here okay now after that here you will have to you will have to go to the back and you will have to click on this reset option okay you will have to click on this reset go to the back option and go to the back option here after that close this okay now <coughs> now you can see here there is another option that is showing here add network okay simply you will have to click on this add network option okay now after that you will have to go to the here you will have to type here all without a space samsung and in password you have to type frp bypa double s and click to the add okay now again you will have to go to this add network option now after that you will get a setting option here you can see here a small setting option is showing here simply you will have to click on this setting option now you will have to go to the scroll down here and you will have to go to the reset to default setting option here you will have to click to this reset keyboard setting here and reset here you will have to go to the erase personalized prediction and erase here now again you will have to go to the back option here and you will have to go to the option that is showing here your language and type simply you will have to go to the this option now you will have to go to the option that is showing here manage input language you will have to go to this option and you will have to select all the english what is showing in this page okay now after that go to the back option again go to the back option here now you will get an option that is showing here text shortcut you will have to go to this and go to the add option now after that you will have to feed some uh, shortcuts here and that is uh, remove frp remove gmail password ok now after that you will have to click on this add option now go to the back here again go to the back option here now go to the back option here now after that again you will have to go to the back and you will have to reach to the starting page select all these options go to the agree now here you will have to uncheck this nearby device option and here you will again you will get another option that is nearby device you will have to uncheck both options then go to the agree go to the next
now you will have to choose one option of both of them simply you will have to choose here don't copy option now my friend you can see here you are getting here a skip option on this page where the gmail account was asking previously you you are getting here a skip option so with the help of some tips and tricks you can also FRP bypass of your samsung android smartphone and you can also get a skip option on this page and after that simply you can bypass this page now you don't need any gmail id and password and you don't need any phone number now simply you will have to set up your phone like a new phone one more thing i would like to tell you my friend if your uh, phone is also a puppy bypass with the help of this video then make sure within one hour you will have to choose a new pin pattern or password lock otherwise your phone will be again locked with the help of previously password so make sure after this method when your phone is unlocked uh use a new pin pattern or password here okay select a language here i will suggest you select a single language then go to the next option you can also bypass this page but uh, i will suggest you select a single language now go to the next here install this finish finish so my friend you can see here my samsung android smartphone has been already app uh, FRP bypass with the help of this method and if your Samsung Android smartphone is also bypassed FRP bypass with the help of this video then do the like this video and if your uh, Samsung FRP bypass has not been done with the help of this method then make us comment which type of issues you are facing in this method our team will quick response on your issues thank you so much